In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to use the Joint Editor tool, a component of the Figure Setup tools for Dash Studio, to adjust the bend parameter of a bone. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to adjust the twist parameter of that bone. I'll start by selecting the bone I want to modify, coming up to the Current Parameter drop-down in the Tool tab, and choosing the Twist Parameter. And notice that the viewport changed. As you can see, this parameter is quite a bit simpler than the bend parameter. I have two disks here that control the influence of the parameter. As I click and drag on this, you notice it changes the color on the model. As with the bend parameter, the color that you see on the model is the vertex weighting of this particular parameter. To help you better visualize the effect of the parameter, we'll come up to the Parameters tab and go ahead and twist that bone a little bit. I'll go back to the Tool tab and go ahead and make some adjustments. As you can see, the same as the Bend parameter, I have the option to enable or disable that twist. For the purposes of Poser content creation, you'll want to keep that on. You'll also notice something familiar with the sliders that you can click and drag, click on the ends to nudge, or manually edit the value. To come over to the manipulators in the viewport and begin to drag those around, you can see that as I do, the area that's influenced has changed. The area beyond the end of this parameter is fully affected. The area beyond the start of this parameter is not affected at all, and the area between the start and the end is a gradient falloff from not affected at all to fully affected. I can further influence the final result of that parameter by enabling sphere matrices. Go ahead and turn those on and set them to their default and you notice the same sphere matrices that you had with the bend parameter. They operate the same way. I can use the translation handles to move those spheres around. Notice the effect that it's having on the mesh as I move that within the zone. I can use the center cube to do a global scale of those spheres. I can use the cubes at the intersections of the rings to scale from the opposite side. And if I have this rotation compatibility option unchecked, I can rotate those spheres. And remember, the rotation compatibility option is an option that allows content to be created in Dev Studio, but uh, usable and editable in Poser. And also notice the sliders that you have, same as you did for the bend parameter, where you can manually adjust those values. The sliders that you see here affect the sphere that you have selected in this active sphere dropdown, whether that's static, dynamic, both of them using static values, or both of them using dynamic values. And that's pretty much it for the twist parameters. Pretty simple.